Hello guys, welcome back. So let's do a new topic, arthropods. First, let's know what does arthropods mean. So these are invertebrate animals. These are invertebrate animals. They have a segmented body. And paired joint appendages. Appendages means their extremities, okay, their legs. So let's know the arthropod. The first arthropod that we will be studying about is Sarcoptes scabi. The name of it is Sarcoptes scabi. It causes a very common disease, skin disease, that is scabies. Okay. Now the symptoms for scabies that you should remember is that you will have itching between the fingers, abdomen, extremities and this itching gets intense at night. So during night, more itching. So these are the symptoms for sarcoptus scabi which they will be mentioning in the question. Okay. The second arthropod that you should know is Thorus pubis. Thorus pubis. Now this Thorus pubis, it is also known as crab louse. Okay. The region where it is found is, in a human body, it is found in pubic hair region and axillary region. They are grey in colour. Now grey colour, if mentioned in the question, then it is not necessary that it is going to be thorus pubis. This region which you are seeing is pubic hair region and axillary region. If they are mentioning this or if they mention crab blouse and they ask another name, then the correct answer is thorus pubis. Okay. The next arthropod is Pediculus Humanus Capitis. This Pediculus Humanus Capitis, it is also known as head louse. Okay, it is found in human head. It has three pairs of leg. And if they give you pediculus humanus humanus, then you should remember the color of this pediculus humanus humanus, that it is white in color. And it will also have three pairs of legs, okay? So it is common in both. Capitus is head. So pediculus humanus capitus is present in the head. Next, that you should remember is a very important disease that is tick born relapsing fever. Tick born because it is caused by tick and the tick is soft tick. So if a soft tick bites a person, that person gets a tick born relapsing fever. Now soft tick it belongs to the genus Ornithodorus. Okay. This Ornithodorus, they can either give you, I'm giving you a few examples of the Ornithodorus genus name. Mubata, Turicata. Like this, they will give Ornithodorus Mubata, Ornithodorus Turicata, Ornithodorus Papigae. Many other or Ornithodorus they will give. So you should know that Ornithodorus is actually the soft tick bite. Okay. The next you should remember is Russian summer encephalitis. This Russian summer encephalitis, it is also called as tick bone encephalitis. It is going to affect the brain, okay, encephalus brain. It is caused by hard tick bite. Tick bone relapsing fever was by soft tick bite. Russian summer encephalitis is by heart tick bite. In the name of the heart tick bite, you should know this. It is Ixodes per sulcatus. Very important. So, please write its name. Okay? And remember it. The next arthropod is Ornithodorus papillae. This Ornithodorus actually is the soft tick bite, right? So, specifically from Ornithodorus genus, you should know the Ornithodorus papillae. Write down first of all the 
the information which we already know that it is a soft tick the second thing that you should know is it has four pair of ambulatory legs it is a feature for this and this will be mentioned in the question the next important point is that its sexual opening is present at first pair of leg so wherever the first pair of leg is at that place the ornitho the ornithodorus papillae will have its sexual opening the sexual opening done so you should also know about the mouth so mouth is present at notch of the abdomen and lastly not so important point but remember it it has pointed front end so its front end is very pointed that's all you have to remember regarding the ornithodorus papillae okay the next organism is follicle mite on this follicle mite it is also called as demodex folliculo drum what it causes it causes demodicosis it is a skin disease okay you have to remember in this you will see ulcers on face and neck skin they actually affect the hair follicle okay they are mobile parasites which are microscopic arachnids arachnids are spider like okay they actually affect the hair follicle that's why it is known as follicle mite okay the next the last is wolfartia magnifica a very very important organism which comes in crop many a times okay first of all write down it is also known as spotted flesh fly very important please remember the names screw worm fly so these are its two other names spotted flesh fly screw worm fly now in the question how will you find that the answer is going to be wolfartia magnifica in the question whenever you see this tissue meiosis or wound meiosis this is the key word for wolfartia magnifica so if you see these words either tissue meiosis or wound meiosis you should be sure that the answer is going to be wolfartia magnifica that's all you have to remember regarding this organism so we've done nine arthropods and that is enough for medical biology as for the croc exam so i hope everything is clear thank you